Hello, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me today. Um, I'm just continuing on with my um, two botanical journals that I'm making using the um, papers, botanical papers from Rachel Rox's Creations. And I thought I'd just come on and show you where I'm at. Um, I've got covers made for both of the journals. So they've both got similar covers. I didn't want to put anything more on them because I just love these fabrics and I didn't want to cover it up with pockets and things. So they've both got um, um, label plates on the front that say journal. This one is um, just about finished. Um, it's not stitched in, um, but you can see where I'm at with it. So I've got to stitch this one into its cover. Um, both covers have got pockets front and back, which is something that I like to do. And um, yeah, it's just about all finished off quite nicely and I'm really pleased how it's turned out. Um, that's got an envelope that's going in the middle. Um, I'd folded this as an envelope and I was going to have it as an envelope. But then I was just playing around and I thought it would be nice to have it as a flip out. So I've done it. I'm going to do it that way and tie it there. And then it will open out and then there's a pocket in there and then there's just some papers um, that I've got left over that I've just clipped in the back there. But they lift up so that it's got writing space underneath. So that's going to go in the centre and I'll have one of those in both of the journals. So they're going to go in both. So that's where I'm at with that one. So let me just put that one out of the way. So I thought I would continue on with this one that I've not done as much on yet. Um, I've got some pockets made for it. This fabric I just love. I've had it a long time um, and I've decided now is the time to use it. So I've made a cover for it. Look, I hope you like it. I've backed it with um, like, a, is it a turquoise, deep turquoise? But I just thought it went with these colours so nicely. And for the um, ruffles on the edges, I've tried to pick out, I think these are echinacea flowers but I'm probably wrong I tried to pick out that colour as well as the turquoise so I've done that on those ruffles which I'm I really like so I hope you do too um, I think that's going to be the tie on the front that's a vintage buckle on there and there might just be enough of this to tie and if not I can thread it back through and have it as a buckle but I think that might just tie nicely there and I thought the colours just went so well together with that one. And as I say, this has got the two pockets in it as well. So I put that cover out the way. It took me ages, honestly, to try and get the, um, the covers made because I kept changing my mind as to what fabric I wanted to use. So where am I with this one? Um, I've got a pocket in the front, so it flips out and it's got a pocket there at the front, a pocket just there and one just there. And then in the back, I've done the three pockets, the same as in the other one. And they've all got um, tags inside. That was one of Rachel's um, from the ephemera kit. And then I've just backed it. I've fussy cut one flower out. Flower? That's a bird even, isn't it? So that's the same three pockets as was in the back of the other journal that I've made. Obviously, the two journals are going to look different because... They're from they've got different papers in but I've got similar pockets um now what oh I've opened it at the page I wanted to work on I wanted to try this is a um, um, an image a book plate from an old vintage book that I had I'm not going to stick that in any better than it is because that's how it was in the book um, and I thought it might be nice, quite nice to use it as to write underneath the other one's got one of these in as well and I want to, I need to hinge it onto another piece of paper. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I want to leave this front paper on because it tells you what it is, the Rose Garden at Hatfield. Um, I think this book was from the early 1930s. So it was an old book that I had. But as you can see, it's not very sturdy. It's a little bit fally part. So I'm going to make that a bit more sound and I'm going to hinge it so that it's got a page on the opposite side so oh, that's the um, getting ready for the middle the middle pocket what could I use what could I use that might work 
I'm kind of thinking the image needs to be on the left because that's actually going to be on the opposite side. And I wanted something that's got um, something in the centre because I want to put that on this bit here so that it's got a bit of an image. So that one might work quite nicely. So I think I'm going to I'm going to give it a go. And if it doesn't work. I'll check it's working before I actually glue it onto the um, onto that old book page. So I hope you're all doing OK. My cold has finally left me. Took a good couple of weeks and it was just a cold. It was nothing, nothing else. No lurgy, just a cold. Um, but sometimes I do struggle. Um, it's not gone to my husband, strangely. There's me coughing and sneezing everywhere and he hasn't had it. So I don't know what I can say about that. Cut those edges off. Okay. So that would normally kind of be on the centre in the centre. So if I cut it just slightly I'm going to cut it a bit bigger than I think I need it to start with. And then if that was to go on there Probably best to do it that way, aren't I? But that page, I don't want to come out any further than that. And that, I don't... I want to be creased in the middle. And then that can go on there. So I'm just trying to measure it against this. So that book page doesn't stick out any further there. Sorry, I'm in frame. And so as long as this doesn't stick out any further than that, jobs are good. So I can cut a little bit extra off there. I'm happy to do that now. I'm just going to cut that extra bit off there. And I am then going to stick that on there. Like that. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to put the glue. Sorry, I was just thinking where best to put the glue to glue it. And I think I will put the glue on this. sure that's going to be well stuck down and I'm also going to put a bead of glue along the edge of that and then I've got an idea for the back as well so that's going to go like that I want to lay that on there so it's no further sticking out than that And I'm going to stick that as best I can on there. So that will then open. I probably haven't got it level at all. But that's okay because I can just fold it a bit, can't I? That's okay. And then I'm going to just make it the same size page. <laughs> And already the bits are sticking to my fingers. Well and truly sticking. Okay. So that's stuck on there. So that will work as in. You flip through it. That's on there like so. You go through to the back. And you've got your back page that falls into the back of it. Now, obviously, I don't want that to be white and I want to cover this up as well. So I'm going to back this with another piece of paper. 
and I know you can't see the papers that I've got. They're all these are all Rachel's papers that I've got back here. I think I'm going to put that on. How's that for a quick decision? So I'm going to take the edge off of there. And I'll take the top piece off. And then I think what I want to do is glue that on there. And I'm going to glue it so it comes over this, which means that that will show on the back page. So that is what I'm going to do for sure. Okay, so I'm going to cut this to size. I'm going to cut it just above that word there, because I think that will then be about long enough. I think, else I've just messed it up. Yeah, that's fine. And I'd like to get that 1936 on, so I'm going to take a little bit off the edge because I don't need it to go over that page quite so much. I'm going to cut that off. Oops, Daisy. That's the right way up. So I'm going to put the glue on there and glue it on. I am. So I want quite a lot of glue because I want it to stick around the edges. I don't want it coming up because that's going to be um, a page then. Oops, Daisy. Where's that come from? So I'm going to put plenty of glue around the edges. Flip it over and put the glue on the back side as well. I mean, I could always um, stick stitch this page together as well if I felt it wasn't going to be strong enough, but I'm, I think it will be. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that on there. And that's going to make my mat really sticky, isn't it? Because the glue's gone all the way to the other side, look. Okay. Let's cut this excess off and then we can kind of see what we've got. And if I've made it too wide, where did I put my... I had a... Oh, it's here. And say so I had a little blade, a little craft knife very gluey paper I can always cut a bit off the edge if it's not if it's too wide and hopefully that's glued down it's going to be nice and strong I think I need to take just a smithering off the top there. Okay, so that then will fold like so. And let's let's put it in the book and see if it works. It should do. Right, so if we're flipping through, we get to this bit, we've got that lovely edge down there. That will flip over there. I might need to run a stitch down there. I think I will run a stitch down there. Or actually what I might try and do is fold that. Like that. I know that's not very straight, is it? These old book pages aren't that terribly straight. That 
that's okay. And I'm going to put a bit of glue along there and just glue that bit down so that that is well adhered to that page, otherwise it's going to come apart, I think. So that's going to glue on there. Fingers crossed. Oh, while, while I'm just give that a minute to dry, somebody's asked me what the wet glue um, that, that I use. I don't use art glitter glue. I find it too expensive. Um, I use the high tack. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It says high tack glue. Um, and this size from Hobbycraft, that's four ounces or four fluid ounces or 115 mil is three, three pounds. And it lasts I've had this one over a year and it's just getting to the bottom now. So it lasts a really long time and I find it equally as strong as art glitter glue. It sticks fabric, it sticks paper, it sticks the lot. So that that is a delicate piece of paper because it is, you know, it's 90 odd years old. So it's quite fragile, but that's OK. So it does flip over there so you can see that. And it flips over like that. And then we've got this as the decoration on the back of that. And that covers that nasty bit of glue that was on there. And then we've got that as a page just there. So I'm pleased with that. And I think I want to perhaps put a pocket on here. I'm just wondering, I've got this bit that we cut off. And I think that might make a nice pocket. And then that's that piece of paper completely used, isn't it? Where is that fold? That fold's just there. Oops, I don't want it that way, do I? I want I want it that way so that you can see those. I might put it that side, actually. No, I think I will put it that side. The bit that I'm questioning myself is Really, I don't want to glue those two edges and have that bit as the tuck. Do I want it as a belly band? No, I don't. So I might not use that piece there. I might have just changed my mind. But I might use that. Or that. No, I think I'm going to use this piece, right? So that can be a pocket somewhere else. So I'm going to put that in my use later box. So I'm going to fold that. And I'm going to cut this off here. So I don't know how much I'll get done today, folks. Um, but I think the next video that you see will be a flip through of these two. Um, I've still got the Italian ladies journal to make um, and I have done bits and pieces in that. Um, so I am slowly working my way through that. But I'm thinking I might do a couple of um, Christmas type bits. Um, I think I said before that um, Amy from Crafty Cat has a very nice bl uh, black and white Christmas kit that I would love to use. And I'm feeling I want to be doing something with that so I may well um, finish these two and do a bit of Christmas in between um, and I think I'm going to do a pink Christmas journal I have some uh, lovely pink eco type papers from uh, Susan Taylor Brown um, and some gnome images and I'm thinking I quite fancy doing I've never done a pink I've never done a pink journal, never mind a pink Christmas journal. So I'm thinking a black and white journal and a pink Christmas journal might be might be what I do. But who knows? We can change our mind, can't we? So that's the way I want that. So I know I shouldn't put a, a bit in there right now because it won't, probably won't cut, will it? Because it's wet. So I'm probably going to regret this. Oh, no, it did. And I think that's because I put some paper behind it. So I'm going to glue that on. I know you don't see the back of it, 
so you're not going to see that image but that's the beauty of digitals is you can print it again and again and again so there's no end to using them there's no limits well there are limits because i think the designers say that you can use them so many times um, for you know if you're going to sell them or but it's a lot of times it's something like 300 times in a year where's that fold there so I'm going to leave a bit of a gap but that is there so we've then got a pocket just there it may need trimming down at the top and at the bottom it don't know if it shows on the back no that's okay but it is a bit sticky at the minute so that's that bit done that's another page decorated so we've got that vintage book plate in there that folds back okay there I'm going to put a pocket or something on here as well to cover up some of that and then we've got that lovely pocket in there that's going to have a tag in it as well and it's got that beautiful I love that kingfisher on there so that's that oopsie these are all the um, pockets that I've got left to put in this one so what else was I thinking that I might like to do? I also might like to put an extension ex on this page. Oh, I'm just looking. This is actually, I want something that's copied on both sides. And this piece of paper that just happened to be sat in front of my nose is. Don't you think that's funny sometimes that, you know, the thing right under your nose is what you actually want to use? And I'm going to use this to make a hinge, to make a hinge, to make a pull out. And I, oh gosh, come on, Carol, to make a pull out on that plain piece of tea dye paper. That's what I'm going to do. So get rid of these white bits. I think I th this. I've got so many favourites of Rachel's papers, but I do love this blue parrot. And the pink, the navy and pink, don't they think they go so well together? And somebody said to me that they'd like one of Rachel's kits, but they don't. This The choice, there's so much choice. And to be fair, yes, there is. But I found you just can't go wrong. But I do love that. I love this page completely. So he, this is what I'm thinking, folks. He is going to be a pocket on this side. And then the rest of it's going to be a flip, a flip pull out on that side so first of all I'm going to try and put a little bit of paper down there just to strengthen him that piece of paper will do I know I've took a notch out of it but it it doesn't matter I just want to um, just want to put something down this edge just so that it's a bit stronger for when you're putting a tag or a journal card or something in and out of that pocket. So that's ideal, just a scrap of book page. Oh. And I've now got glue everywhere on it. Nothing new there either. Right, that's just strengthened that page. You're not going to see that bit. So I want to use that bird... I want him to be a pocket so let me cut that little bit of white off there my brain's just gone dead on how I can do this the brain has switched off folks just take that white bit off there right now think so I want that to be a pocket so I want to put a notch in it I wonder if it'll work for me again. I don't want to put a notch where that bird is. Oh, brilliant. So that notch is probably higher than centre. Yes, it is. But I don't mind because I just did not want to cut off that bird's head at all. Is that pocket level? What do you think the chances of it being straight are? Oh, I'm going to give myself a bonus and go to the top of the class on that one. 
I actually got it straight. Miracles do happen. Right, so that is going to be a pocket on that bit. Okay, so that page is going on there. Oh gosh, that is so cute. Stop looking at it, Carol. So that is going to go on there as a pocket. Yes, it is. I'm going to open that and I'm going to put glue. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to put glue on the top and on the bottom. And then I'm going to add the glue onto the paper as well. Because it needs glue in there as well. And then I'm going to fold that over. And that is my pocket. So how that will work is it'll be a pocket like that to go in there. But this bit will then fold. And as I've got the centre fold of the page there. So that will go there. I'm just going to cut this little bit of white off there. I could probably leave a little bit of white. Does it really matter if you can see the white? I don't know. I don't know. And then that will fold back there like that. So that will be a pull out there. And then you can still write on this if you wanted to. Isn't that pretty? And then that will go in there. Oh, and I like the yellows. That was coincidental. I hadn't realised, but the nice yellows. Right, I'm just going to reach because there was a very kind lady that did me some whale tail um, tabs. And I've nearly used them all up. They're so precious to me. I don't like to use them. <laughs> I know that's silly, isn't it? quite like that one. On there. Does it hide in too much? Hide in, is that the word? I have that one with the number. I think I like that one with the number actually. So these are the all I've got left now. So if anybody wants to do a swap of whale tail punches for something that I might have, let me know. I'd be happy to swap with you. Can't put that back now, sorry. I Oh, I've left one out. Don't lose it. Right, so I'm going to put that in there. And that's two bits that I've done, isn't it, then? So I'm going to put that about there, I think. And then that'll just show that that will pull out like that. And then when it's dry, I probably need to put something along down there. It's not quite long enough, is it? That would be. Shall we do that? Shall we give it a little bit of... I'm going to cut an inch, I think. Just because I do worry... Um, when you've stuck, you know, over the page like that, that this, I mean, it shouldn't come loose. It shouldn't come loose at all. But I think it might be nice just to reinforce it a little bit. On there. Yes, I'm going to do that just tear that page off it's so sticky don't look at the images on it it's a medical dictionary and some of the images are they're a bit weird and most of them are not very nice either 
but it's been really nice paper to use. I'm going to put that on there. And I'm not going to fold that whilst that is wet. So I can't show you the, well we can because we've got the pocket there. And that's nicely stuck down and that's going to go in there. So I'm going to leave that page open just a little bit. While, have we got time? Do you mind staying with me while we just add a few more bits and pieces? What would I like to do? I want to put a pocket just there. I've got similar ones to the ones that I made for the other journal. So this has got the um, tag with a pocket in. And then I've put one of Rachel's beautiful ladies in there and it says the hour is late. So I think I've got a choice and then it'll be a tuck behind because I'm only going to glue three sides. So that can go on there. Or I've got this one that I made from one of the um, leftover bits of envelope. So it's big, it's the bit that's cut off from this. So that's um, just an envelope. Like that standard envelope that I've just cut this bit off and made it into a pocket. And it left me with this. So that's where I made this from. So this bit here is that, that I've just wrapped some paper around and made it into a pocket. And then it's got a journal card inside and that's just got some extra paper on. So I've got that one as well. So I was gonna make some more of those. I thought they were quite nice. So I could put that in there. I quite like that one actually. Yeah, I think so. that one can go in my save for later. So I'm going to put glue round two sides and stick it on here. Let's take that out. Glue down that side and glue on that side. And then that can stick on there. So I can put another journal card behind there. And that's the one that goes in that pocket. So that's that one done. That's in. How's this doing? Can we fold it yet? The thing when you fold these papers is they get that nasty crease in them, don't they? What do we think? Can we risk it? Yep, yeah, that's okay. So that will pull out. No nasty crease. Nope, no nasty crease. And then when it folds over, we've got that beautiful bird just there. There was something else I wanted to show you that I've made as well, and I can't think what it was. Sorry, I know I keep shuffling it, but I like to start and get a feel for it, of how it's working and how it's going together. Okay, bear with me a moment. Okay, I don't know how quickly I can do it, um, but I wanted to make an over the page flip using this. We made this earlier together and I want to make it so that it will hang on a page and have something on the opposite side. So to do that, I need something to go on the back side of this. Um, that bird might be nice. I think I'm going to use that. I know you're not going to, the, the reason that I've picked that bird is because it's pink and pink, but I know you're not going to see it because it's on, going to be on the opposite side of the page. So a little bit of a moot point that you're not going to see it, but that's okay. Now I don't want it to be much wider than this. So that's three and a half. The only thing is you've got that at the top. I think that's okay. I'm going to I'm going to work with it. So I'm going to put that there. Okay. Get 
rid of those. So that would hang on the back. Well, I think that would work. And all that I do then is make them both um, tag shape, don't I? That would work, wouldn't it? I think it would. So I want to cover this with something. Something, something. What have I got in my scrap box? I don't think I've got... Oh, I've got that one. I think that would be nice. I'm going to glue that on there. Just do it, Carol. Stop thinking about it. So I'm going to put that on the back. Oh, I've just cut my glue again. Hey ho. Just going to glue that on. I'm going to stitch around this anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's... Oh dear. Oh dear, I've got it stuck. Okay. I'm enclosing in on myself again, aren't I? So that's going to cut... That's going to go like that. Get rid of that bit. I need to cut the white bit off the bottom. Okay, and I would like to have a corner pocket or some sort of pocket on there. I think it's going to be that. I think it is. I'm going to make this into a pocket. scissors yep I have got scissors always useful so that will go on there as a pocket put something at the top there just to cover that up give it a bit of strength again the excess out of those corners don't I that's a piece out my scrap box used which is always a good thing isn't it so that will be a pocket on there and a tag can go in there that's going to fold over and I am going to attach that onto there I want it to be a tag shape. It can be, can't it? So I don't need all of that. I only need a little bit to attach it. Let's see if I can switch my sewing machine on. One moment. Okay, I've had a little think while I was just switching my machine on. And I think what I'm going to do is put the pocket on this tag. I'm going to put the pocket on that. And then this, I am going to attach some um, papers to. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know where my ruler's gone. It's disappeared. I think I need to make that tag shape so that I can see. Ah, 
I'm just wondering whether I need to cut the whole thing tag shape. Yeah, I think you do. Okay, I'm going to do it. Cut that. And that, okay. So that's as if it's two tags. And then I'm going to put papers in here. So I don't want them sticking out more than, I don't want them to show through that tag, do I? Is what I'm thinking. Different papers. Um, bit of book page as well. lose that off the bottom sorry trying to think what I need to do um, never easy right they would go on there like that I want to use that and I want that flower bit to show at the bottom and then that would go on top and I think I just need to trim a tad off the edge. What do they look like? So they would go on there as extra papers and I'm happy with that. Trying to think what I need to do folks, sorry. So I'm going to put a bit of glue on there and glue these on. I got them all one two three four five yeah and then I'm going to put those on there but I'm not going to put that bit on until I've stitched around it otherwise I'm going to be stitching my papers and then that's going to go on there that seemed to come together nicely what do you think what is that saying the proof of the pudding is in the eating gosh so that's kind of stick on there like that okay I'm going to stitch around these and then I will be back please bear with me Okay, so I've stitched all the way around the tag and I've stitched all the way around the other tag so that they're now joined together and they will hang over a page. Try and make a little bit of room a minute. And then this paper block that I've made, I want to attach that into the back of there. So I'm going to glue, glue, glue that in. It might just be hanging over the bottom. So I'm just going to glue it in. didn't glue did it there I thought I had oh it's back to front <laughs> oh Carol I can see I thought I had a pattern piece at the front so I'm gonna put that in there like that and I'm gonna stitch across that so one moment oops I'm sorry I've knocked you out of the way one moment Okay, so we now have the papers stitched in and the, these, they can be used as a little notebook or you can tear them out and use them to further decorate the journal. Lots of choices and options there. And then on the back of that, I wanted to put the pocket, didn't I? And I'm going to fold it in just slightly further because I'd like it to come inside the stitching because it just glues down a little bit better. I just find sometimes when I'm trying to glue over stitching, things just don't want to work. 
sometimes they do and sometimes they don't so okay blue oopsie on there that's got the little pocket on there it might have a tag where did I put Rachel's tags I don't think no those aren't going to fit where's the tags Oh gosh, I've got all sorts here, look. Bird might be nice. I like the bird. How's that for a snap decision? So that will be the tag in there. Right, where's it going to go? I'll just bring the book back. I wanted to put it over one of the plain papers, so something like this kind of page, so it would hang over like that, and I'll put a paper clip on it. But it, although it does hang nicely on its own, and then there's a tag on that side, and then when you turn over, you've got extra papers that you can use on that side. So that's that. That's another one done. The other journal has got something similar in as well. Um, I try and replicate a few of them, but not all of them. So that's where we're at. So I'm hoping you like it. I've had you for 47 minutes, gosh, a golly. Um, so I'm going to let you go and I will carry on and finish this journal off. Um, I'm really happy the way that that turned out. Very pleased indeed. Probably won't put that one there next to that but I might who knows who knows so I hope you like it I hope you like the fabrics that I chose for the covers and I look forward very much to seeing you with me next time so take care take care take care folks bye